NPR. We always listen to NPR because we're better than you. <laughs> and uh, so we're listening to NPR at breakfast the other morning, and there's this one story where they kept using this phrase. They kept saying 9-11 deniers. They kept saying that. 9-11 deniers. And my daughter was like, what is that? And I said, well, it's a group of people that think September 11th was a conspiracy. And she said, oh, I thought they were saying 9-11 deniers. <laughs> yeah, she thought they meant nine people who just ain't buying this 11 bullshit. <laughs> it's a uh, small fringe group, really. There's only nine of them. But they still got an NPR, they got on the radio because they're dedicated. They protest every day. They're the 9-11 deniers. They're outside of the White House. It goes 10, 12, 13. Just know it. We are the 9-11 deniers. We know that 11 is a bullshit number propagated on the people by the man. Why do we have 11 when we have 13 and 14 and 15 and 16, 17, motherfucking 18 and 19, but we do not have a one team? What happened to one team? The government took one team and replace it with some bullshit called 11. We are the nine that deny that shit. Mr. President, give us back one team. I don't mean to offend any Chinese people with a stereotype, <laughs> but. That's right. I'm motherfuckers. I lived in Shanghai. I'm Chinese than a motherfucker. The chopsticks and what not. Ah! All right. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Stereotypes are harmful. That's the truth. But the, the voices are funny. <laughs> and I, I don't know how to reconcile those two facts. I enjoy doing the voices, but they're offensive. So I do them at home. I used to do them for my kids when they were little. They liked them. They didn't know it was a race thing. They just enjoyed it. Daddy, do the friendly man. You want me to be the friendly man, little girl? We love the friendly man. He loves little white girls, too. Let's have some scrambled eggs. And then I grew up and I was like, don't talk about the friendly man. <laughs> Maybe don't talk to your teachers about them. <laughs> My kids go to uh, public school in New York City and uh, they, yeah, all right. Uh, send your kids there then. Teach them that that's what life is like. The teachers amaze me because I don't know, this is the worst, here's the worst thing about this country to me is that there's, there's no more noble profession than to be a public school teacher. It's easily, please, please don't, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like where it's going. I don't recommend clapping at any things. You'll regret it at the end of the thing. In a democracy, there's no more noble contribution you can make than to teach in a public school. And in this country, the people that do that, they're fucking losers. <laughs> they're just rock bottom fucking losers. <laughs> and everybody knows it, but they keep doing it. New people are teaching every day, knowing how shitty it is. They show up, they tell them ahead of time, hi, what is this job? And they say, okay, here's what we need you to do. We need you to make children know math. <laughs> wow. Do they want to know math? No, they don't want to know it. <laughs> you need to make them know it against their will. 
while they're exploding sexually and be <laughs> Who are these children? Just whatever kids live near the building. <laughs> How much do I get paid? About $10 every four years. What if I get really good at it? What happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. <laughs> Nobody notices, and you get fired, and you die alone. <laughs> okay, I'll try it for 25 years. <laughs> My daughter's learning about Greek mythology, and she's asking me questions about it. She was like, Daddy, who's Achilles' mother? I said, I don't fucking know. Don't ask me that shit. I don't know who Achilles' mother is. Don't yell it out if you know it, please. Like it's Camp Ampatees. Nobody cares what you know. <laughs> she had a question about Achilles, and it was an interesting question, and I'll tell it to you. But first, the story of Achilles, real quick. Achilles was a baby, uh, uh, he was a Greek um, ki uh, baby, and <laughs> he didn't stay that way, but when he was a Greek baby, uh, his mother, who was a goddess, um, took him into the River Styx, which is at Hades, the land of the dead, and she dipped him in the water of the River Styx because there was a magical quality to that water that you, it would make you impervious of any harm. You couldn't be hurt. It was like a shield, right? So she, she dipped him in that water to protect him, but she held him by the heel. That's the important detail. Held him by the heel, which is an awkward way to hold a baby. <laughs> by the heel. Try holding a baby by the heel and dipping it in a river. You will never see that baby again. I lost the baby in the water. I was trying to wash him and he fell in the river. I'm sorry, Mr. Achilles, I lost your baby. You told me to hold him by the heel. He sleep. Achilles' mother is a Mexican nanny. <laughs> it's a lesser known character in the Iliad. Anyway, his mother, she was able to hold on, of course, because she was a goddess. She was the goddess of grip or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> and she held on, and then he was protected except on his heel. His heel was not protected. And so that's what we call your Achilles heel, your one vulnerable place. Everybody's got their Achilles heel. Achilles' Achilles heel was his heel. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> anyway, so my daughter, here was her question. She said, how come his mother didn't just dip him again? She could have just dipped him one more time with the other leg in there. Well, did she just, like, get, <laughs> you're like a sign that says one dip per goddess? Did you ever color an Easter egg? It's not that complicated. You dip it, and then you hold it differently and dip it again. <laughs> Smart kid. I, I, I was proud of her. But at the same time, I thought, who the fuck are you to judge this woman? <laughs> it bothered me. Because here's what the story of Achilles teaches me, is that if you're a parent, it's never enough what you do for these motherfuckers. <laughs> it's just never enough. It's still going to be your fault. How much more do you want from a mother? She dipped her kid in magic water and protected 99% of his body. Is any of it up to him? He could have just wore a big shoe and be careful. But he goes out in sandals, fucking flip-flops and a sword and fights the whole planet. I'm a Achilles because my mother dipped me. <laughs> Finally, somebody got him in the heel and he's like, Mom! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom!